Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to my color with me video today. Um, so the drawing I did yesterday, I colored for 10 minutes. I talked for a bit. I said I was going to do like maybe a part two finishing it, but I ended up just finishing it on my own off camera. I chose orange, red, and yellow as colors because they complement each other, being that they're close on the color wheel. Um, and then I chose the blue and the blue because it complements the orange. Uh, those two colors go nicely together. And then blue and purple go nicely together. And then green, uh, blue and yellow make green. So I thought that would look good for like the background. And I tried really hard. And I think for me, it came out pretty good. Um, but I want to try a new one today with colored pencils because I feel like I get a better result with with colored pencil. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to like pick a drawing. I was thinking like the, the lemon one, but I might do this one with like the, the positive vibes. Um, Cause I, I think it's, I think it's nice. I think I'm gonna do like yellow for the vibes part. Cause I like yellow. I'm a huge yellow girly. I like purple best, but yellow's yellow's nice. Um, I think yellow is a pretty color. It's very sunshiny. So in the last color with me video, I talked about how it's hard for me to make friends um, being autistic because my interests were different. And today, my case manager shared with me that he had an interest that was maybe that people may have thought of as dorky when he met his uh, wife and he shared with me that um, he didn't tell his wife straight off, you know, they got to know each other and then he sat her down one day and said, I need to tell you something. And then he told her and she was fine with it, that people are more accepting of things than you would, you would think. And so that, that was nice to hear, you know, um, whereas that is a big worry of mine when it comes to like making friends in the dating world is I don't want people to see my interests, my hobbies, my likes as, as childish, you know, like I may be an adult with autism, but I'm, I'm not a child, you know, I, I am an adult. And so, you know, as an adult, I don't want to be thought of as as childish. I mean, I feel like that's like a common mistake people make when talking to somebody with autism is they think that you're childish or they, you can't understand them. And some of us are, you know, we, we have different support needs and like some of us are more verbal than others. Like it is a whole spectrum. You can't judge like autism based on one person with autism. You know what I mean? Like we all have different you know, skills and talents and, and ways and opinions. And so, um, yeah, like one of the things I get from people is you talk too well to be autistic. Well, I am very verbal. Um, like I do talk a lot, but, um, that doesn't really have much to do with my autism. Like, I don't know what to, to, to tell you. Like, uh, there are people with autism that are very verbal. Like, it is a spectrum. Um, my brother has autism and he he's also, you know, pretty... Uh, has has different needs than I do and he's very quiet you know but he, he he can be very verbal like he's very intelligent um so it just like autism has nothing to do with your it, you know it, it doesn't mean that I'm I'm not smart or that I'm you know not that I need to be treated like a child sometimes my processing and the way I learn things may need to be explained differently but I'm still very, very bright, you know? I feel like I needed these positive vibes today. I really did. And I, I, it felt like positive vibes coming from my case manager. It really did because I, I did indeed uh, really need to 
hear that that you know some people would accept my interest that like not everybody would would judge me you know I think these are flowers right here trying to take my my time drawing this because I want it to come out nicely but I also don't want the video to be like so long that that it's hard for like people to uh to watch it you know what I mean like sometimes I only have the attention span to watch like a five to ten minute video sometimes like even just a three minute video other times I can focus in on something and watch something for hours uh there's really no in between for me I don't know how it is for you guys do you guys prefer longer videos shorter videos let me know in the comments um maybe recommend some color combinations I can try when I'm coloring and drawing um or do, do you want to see like art that's more um using like maybe just one color or one you know I don't know different things that I could try to maybe improve on my art skills I want to go to um spindle works at some point and I want to tour it it's just difficult for me because there's like gonna be a lot of people there and yeah they have autism like I do and so they'll understand like my struggles it's just very overwhelming to go and and meet new people and like try something new I've, I've been there before when I was younger but it I haven't been there in so long that it's gonna be very new to me now as a, an adult you know um but it, it would be nice to meet like more autistic people in in my community and kind of learn what what some of them are going through you know that are like close by and whatnot um I'm very nervous about it but like at the same time like it's it hopefully I can make some friends there um and whatnot because I'm very likable it's it's not nothing to do with the fact that I'm not likable I'm just sometimes I feel I'm a little socially awkward you know but uh no nah, I'm very likable like I like people um I get drained easily socializing which I feel like is very um understandable I feel like I'm not the only one who gets drained very easily um but uh yeah like I feel like socializing just takes a lot of energy in general um and whatnot but yeah, I definitely feel like it's easier for me to draw with, like, colored pencils than it is crayons. I don't know why. Those crayons were really hurting my hands yesterday. I did not have the 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 time to be, to be playing with them crayons, you know? Like, I was not... It was not going well. But I may, I may split this one into, like two parts as well uh because there's a lot of leaves to color and I did not consider that like it it takes a long time for me to do a coloring page and I really don't know why it takes me so long I feel like it shouldn't sometimes um but then like two hours later I'm still working on the same page you know what I mean and I'm, it's not like I'm doing anything like too abstract I just like diff using different colors and shades um because you can take like one color pencil and get like several shades out of it based on how hard you push on the uh the color pencil um and shading kind of I don't know it just adds something to your uh your drawing um I think for the leaves I want to do a mixture of like like some greens um as far as like this goes and I want to do like several different colors for the uh the leaves but yeah I like this green I don't know why I've, I've really been into green lately because I made a sims like create a sim and I chose like a, a green for like a lot of the apartment and my sims outfits I don't know 
know. Green is like, maybe it's because it's winter and I'm missing like summery colors. But uh, I'm really into green lately. Like I just want more and more green. Like could not get enough green at this point in, in life. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I am, I'm a green fanatic, uh, lately, um, so yeah, I, I like green. Okay, I'm thinking I'll do, like, maybe over here, and then over here. Maybe we'll do over here. And then those will be the light green. I think we'll we'll go over here and and maybe over here because I I can't prevent some of the greens from touching each other. I feel like yeah, I feel like that's gonna have to be as good as it as it as it gets. Um. Like, some of the greens are going to, to touch just based on where the leaves are. I wish I had I'd chosen a third green color now that I think about it. Um, and then I found another flower that I neglected to do. So I gotta find my red. I love my red. I love red. Um. So, yeah, I'm... You know, I'm excited, but I'm nervous to go to, like, Spindleworks. I, I think it'll be good for me, but, like, it's still outside my comfort zone, you know? I don't know how many of you are like me, and you're, like, big on your, uh, your, your comfort zone. Like, what is comfortable is, is kind of what is comfortable for you, and, like, you're, you're just set and happy with that. That's, that's kind of how I am very set in my ways but I've been learning to compromise more and more like that is a skill to learn so I'm I'm proud of myself for for that I, I think I've come a long way but I still have a lot of things I'm working on um but yeah I do want a partner one day and it and, you know, somebody asked me, well, like, what kind of partner do you want? And I just want somebody to go on adventures with. Let's go explore farms. Let's go to the movies. Let's, you know, we can each live in our own space because I'm not at a stage where I want a partner to, like, move in with me or anything crazy. But I want a partner that I can spend time with and hang out with their family and, you know, like, whatnot. Like, that's, that's kind of important to me and like that somebody I could respect and trust and talk to and have conversations with and and just enjoy their their presence um and whatnot like I, I I'd like that in my life you know dating's hard dating is hard I worry about whether I'm ready for, like, the dating world. I really do because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that requires so much social skills that it's, it makes you nervous, right? Um, like, I feel like I, sh I need, like, those cue cards, like, love on the spectrum, give me some cue cards, some conversation starters or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, like, hard enough for me to make friends that, like, the dating world seems little 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 scary but um it is something i i would like is is to meet somebody that you know is you know would be a person i would want to settle down with someday and that i could in the meanwhile before we get to that point have fun with and enjoy their company um i don't know about y'all but i love to spend my evenings just kind of chilling with my dogs like, I am that, that kind of person. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with these coloring pages once I'm done with them. Uh, you know, I have so many coloring books. 
like I have a large coloring book collection that I kind of working my way through and uh, I never know what to do with the coloring pages after I color them. Like I usually try to just give them away to people, but like, I don't know who to give them away to anymore. <laughs> like I have so many coloring pages. I'm friends with the receptionist at my doctor's office and I made her some decorations for like winter and Valentine's day. Cause she always decorates her like check-in area. Uh, and so we become little, little buddies. Um, and like I exchange books with her and I get her birthdays and Christmas gifts. And like she is, she is awesome. Like that's, she is, she is the best. Okay, we only have two more leaves and then this picture is colored. And I can't believe it only took me 15 minutes. Like that, that feels like an accomplishment right there. Um, so that's exciting um so yeah i hope you all are having a lovely lovely day and some positive vibes i'm sending them your way and i'll see you all tomorrow bye everyone